This video looks at using an Excel spreadsheet to quickly import sources to an Airmon View project. Airmon View contains many different ways users can add source information to their projects. Modelers can draw sources using the objects on the application toolbar. Single source data can be manually entered to the source inputs dialog, and multiple sources can be added and edited through the source list table. Finally, sources can be imported from a variety of file formats. One of the supported formats is an Excel spreadsheet template, which you can use to import any number of sources. The template is available in the C drive, lakes, AirMod view, templates folder as source-parameters.xlsx. The sheet contains three elements. The fixed header in gray describes how data should be formatted as well as which columns are required for each source type. Column headers in yellow list the available parameters and the expected units, and the data rows in white are where users input data with one source per row. The exceptions to the one source per row rule are line volumes and line areas, which require three rows per source. Let's look at how to use the template. In the C Drive Lakes AirMod View location, open the Templates folder, and then open the Source Parameters Excel sheet. We recommend saving a copy of the file so you don't overwrite the original template. We'll call this copy Sample for our sample project. The fixed header describes which columns are required for each source type. For example, all sources must have a type, ID, height, and emissions. But only point sources get exit velocity and exit temperature. The number of coordinate pairs also varies by source type. Enter the data according to the type of source you want to add. We'll add a point source first. Make sure to follow model conventions, such as limiting source IDs to 12 characters. Our point source will also need height, diameter, velocity, temperature, release height, emissions, and coordinate information. Line volume and line area sources require three rows to support all their required data. We'll start with type, ID, and emissions as before. This is a line volume, so I'll also need configuration, plume height, plume width, line type, and the coordinates of the line. After adding the coordinates, I'll need to add the release height and base elevation information for the line nodes. Additional data can be copy and pasted into the spreadsheet. Once the spreadsheet is complete, save it. You can then import it to your AirMod View project. Importing can be done via the Import menu or using the Import button on the Source Pathway dialog. To learn more about Airmod View, visit our website, www.weblakes.com. Thank you for watching.